Here's the noon update for July 9th, 2013. On SP one month chart. Uh, it appears that we could be in a one, two, three. This is one, two, three, four, five, zigzag two into a three. And this is when, um, when this pattern broke out, I bought and um, made about five fifty three twenty on the on the gap up on on the following day um, on Monday. I bought on Friday and when the right when the breakout occurred and then got up on um, actually around that area, around that area, yeah, around that area got up on the breakout. Turn in this this is turned into a possible to a a possible third wave up. So this is a one, two, three, the highest target I have recipe would be about um, 1690, which would take out the all-time high. Around, around 1690 to 1700 is 1.618 from there. So um, we're actually right near uh, the top of the B wave right now, around 1652. And that, you got, that gets taken out. That set up a full third wave. The Dow. Wow. Oh wow. Hmm. That looks like a third wave. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, zigzag two into a three. Pattern break third wave. Uh, highest target average of the Dow would be about 15,700. That's one, two, three. And um, near the all time high for the Dow. If we get, that, if we get the full 1.618 move here. Uh, for NASDAQ, um, looks like a vague one, two, three. One, two, three. Um, it, it's actually been traveling um, stronger and faster than Dow and SP, so it's kind of been lagging a little bit. When it starts picking up again, I think it's gonna. You can probably hit about um, let's see, thirty-seven hundred Nasdaq, thirty-seven hundred. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting for S&P. I'm seeing. The, I want to see the, the reaction to the top of the B wave around fourteen fifty-two. Let me see the sixteen fifty-two, the top of the B wave. If they get that gets taken out. That's that's set up a full three, and we could probably hit sixteen ninety. But I need I need, I need a nice um, better entry point to uh, get into this trade. That's right.